click on the print button and now the first thing I always do is go to page setup and the default is set up to one inch so if you just always change it to zero oh you can't see that let me bring this over so the default is always set to one I change it to zero and then it will automatically set the default as to what my printer is so I have done that we'll say okay and now I come here to my advanced and now I'm able to say what size and we're going to do a custom size and the invitation is seven inches wide and five inches tall and so you can see this is the print area but it's trying to fit the whole square in we're going to tell it to crop the image to fit and now you can see it's printing the five by seven now this allows me to print one on a page if you want to print more on a page I'm going to cancel this I'll just cancel here all you need to do is create multiples now I know that two five by seven pages or two five by seven invitations will fit on one eight and a half by eleven so I'm going to go ahead and right click on my thumbnail duplicate page and now I have two images so it will allow you to print as many images as you have if I were able to fit four then I'd want to duplicate it two more times so I'd have four invitations down here so let's go ahead and go now to my print yes we would like to save it first okay yes we're going to use both pages now you can go through your page setup again and make sure your printer set right I know mine is so we'll come back here to advanced we're going to do our custom size and you'll see now we'll be able to put both oops not 73 inches but 7 inches wide by 5 inches tall and so you can see it's still trying to fit that in all I need to do is press crop image to fit area and now if I come down here number of images per page I'm able to fit two on a page if I want to have some space between I can go ahead and add some white space here but I find it's easier just go ahead and print and then I just cut right between the two of them so it's that easy to create your invitations your announcements or photo cards for Christmas using memory mixer thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time